वेलकम टू थर्टी एथ ऑफ नो एम गॉडली ब्लेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर क्रिएटर डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ दिस ड्रामा वॉन्स अस टू हैव यूनानिमिटी इन आर थॉट्स वर्ड्स एंड एक्शंस सो देर टू वेज इधर वी आर फॉलोइंग द वेज ऑफ द सेटन वी आर फॉलोइंग द वेज ऑफ द सुप्रीम क्रिएटर द प्योरीफायर ऑफ ऑल सोल्स नाउ दैट इज वॉट इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड वे आर वी गोइंग टू लैंड अप वॉन्स वी लीव दिस बॉडी let's explore what exactly the supreme father had to say about what we need to imbibe in terms of religion see everybody is following some kind of religion the major religions in the world if you think about them are christianity buddhism even islam and then you have the adi sanatan dharma that is also known as today the hindu dharma and then you have sikhism and other religions so god says those are the names but what are you imbibing out of it is exactly making you religious or irreligious so there are certain qualities there are certain traits if you have within you then you are religious so let's see what exactly does he have to say about our future god says may you be an embodiment of dharma and create the future world sansar on the basis of your elevated sanskars so that's what he wants us to do he wants us to change our habits make them divine and with those divine habits he wants to create a new world now obviously souls are going to enter that new world right it's not going to be that he's going to create new souls who are going to enter new world that's why we say somebody when somebody leaves his or her body we say the following soul has left for the supreme abode <clears throat> now god says until or unless i create the golden world or the golden age or heaven on earth nobody can go or enter the gates of heaven because the passport is there with him so god then says may you be an embodiment of dharna and create the future world sansar on the basis of your elevated sanskars the future world will be created on the basis of your present elevated sanskars our present elevated sanskars means present elevated habits what kind of habits are we developing Now, if you look at the world, people generally say survival of the fittest. If you are somebody who is not smart enough, people will pull you down. If you are not somebody who is very sharp intellect, people can make fool of you. Or you have to use wrong ways to move ahead in life. There is no other way to go ahead in life. You have to make a lot of money. You have to break a lot of people's hearts and mind. So God says those sanskars will let you be part of hell. But if you change your sanskars, no matter what. then i shall allow you to enter the gates of heaven so god then says the sanskars of one kingdom because in that it's god's kingdom or also known as allah ka bagicha or allah's garden in that one kingdom in that garden of eden and one religion are the foundation of the future world there's going to be one religion no it's not about hindu muslim sikh isai it's not about those names it's about souls who will be religious without having the name of a religion that means they have all the qualities all the divinity all the purity within them and they won't know whether they belong to any religion or not that's a powerful fact about it then god says the religion and dharna of self sovereignty the religion and dharna dharna means what you imbibe so you're imbibing humility or you're imbibing ego you're imbibing purity or you're imbibing impurity you are imbibing jealousy or you are imbibing contentment that's what exactly is religion one belongs to satan and the other one belongs to supreme creator god then god says the religion and dharna of self sovereignty are purity in thoughts that's what those souls are going to have who are going to enter the gates of heaven they'll have purity in thoughts purity in words and purity in actions and also in relationships and connections with anybody and everybody in every way so that means if you get in touch if in this world if you are soul conscious and you come across somebody who is a muslim or a hindu or a sikh or an isai you will have pure thoughts towards them because you are the creator's first creation but if you are having any kind of impure negative differentiating thoughts that means that itself means impurity so god then says let there not be any type of impurity that is any other religion in your thoughts now generally people think okay so are you talking about if you are a hindu then you should not have any muslim religion in your thoughts or a christian religion in your thought no 
those are the names of people in whose name the religions have been created under the name of Christ Christianity under the name of Buddha Buddhism but what are the teachings the teachings went followed makes you religious just by wearing those things or costumes of your own religion and wearing those symbols or have keeping those symbols in your house doesn't make you religious that's what god says that's where we have to have more deeper connection with our own religion and our religion is what peace love happiness bliss power contentment joy and divine knowledge and the most important religion is to be in touch with the creator so then god says let there not be any type of impurity that is any other religion in your thoughts so we can have satanic religion that's also a religion if you're following satanic ways then that means you are a religion your religion is exactly satanic religion or if you're following divine ways that means you're following godly ways your religion becomes god's religion and then god says any other th- any other religion in your thoughts or even in your dreams where there is purity there is no name or trace of anything wasteful or sinful so purity is divinity is godliness so god says i am an ocean of purity i can have pure thoughts towards every soul on earth you should have the same don't differentiate don't partition people on the basis of all those things and then you'll be able to unite with me and that comes with soul consciousness then god says such souls are called embodiments of dharma that means they have imbibed purity as their first religion and without purity ocean of purity creator allah god who is completely pak who is completely pure who is completely khalsa cannot be attained that's the first step towards it to know more about these steps do join prama kumari center and learn about the basics about yourself and about your creator with the som shanti